Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about catching up. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, I am starting to learn how to program at 32 years old. What can I do to decrease the gap between myself and more experienced developers? You can push it to the limit. That's what you can do. Push it to the max. Work harder than you've ever worked at anything in your entire life, most likely. And try to catch up to the more experienced developers that way. Uh, some things you're not going to be able to catch up to because you have to live things in order to gain real experience in some cases. But the, on the plus side is if you are exceedingly motivated and willing to commit to basically working I'm just gonna say you probably harder than you've ever worked at anything in your entire life and I do mean anything you most likely have done the commitment you're gonna have to to invest here and it's gonna it's gonna have to happen over several years you're it's completely impossible for you practically to gain uh, to catch up to depends on the experience level of course but you can at the very least count that it's going to take a few years i'm guessing that by the time you've done your education and you've actually caught up to the stand i could you mean of course it depends on what you mean by more experienced developer but uh, it's going to take you at least three to five years i would say of very very serious work in order for you to be able to ma catch up to the people who have been doing this for 10, 15 years. That is roughly the amount of time it takes if you really commit. So it's actually interesting because a lot of developers or people who want to get into software development, they believe that if someone's worked for 10 years or 15 years, there's no way to catch up to them. And the reality is actually that you can do that in around five years. It actually doesn't take all that much to catch up to somebody who's been doing something for quite some time. Because the time it takes you to learn the common practices or the core stuff of what a software developer does, it will take you about five years. That is roughly amount of the amount of time. And that is just incidentally the sweet spot and most requested range of years that... Well, it's around that number most companies feel the absolute m most comfortable hiring a developer that is where they start calling you a senior software developer and there is a correlation there i'm gonna let you fill in the blanks there you probably can figure out why and anything over that is it's going to be valuable but you're going to see a diminishing return on investment on a developer who has 10 or 15 years of experience because the thing that really matters after that point is quality years and that's the key difference between the person that you're gonna have to be and the people that you might have to compete with if you're talking about how can I catch up to an experienced developer who has been living quality years well it's hard to say because you're going to have to spend uh, it's 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 theoretically possible but it's practically impossible because it even it would be impossible for you even to compare what does it actually mean for you to catch up to somebody who's been pushing it to the absolute max because at some point they're going to get to the same thing they're going to have the same issue that you're going to have after five years and that is that you simply don't have anything more to learn within the role that you find yourself and you're going to have to branch out you're going to have to go down different routes you're going to have to experiment on things because there's only so much that you you can learn from the day-to-day -day work that a software developer does and this is the thing that I find hilarious about people who ask me Frederick do you think that a person working in some other company has what it takes to work in Google and I kind of go yes they fucking do what do you think Google is like casting spells or shit up there like there are plenty of people who <laughs> are able to work in the most advanced companies or the fan companies it, like th you, they can basically start the work today because the difference between what the specific teams at Google or Facebook and so forth are doing is not determined by some magical inherent ability they still use the same practices and tools it's all coding guys if you work in a specific team and you have a niche that's a different story 
but if you're gonna do standard web development it doesn't matter if you do it at Google or if you do it at some other company there might be different processes and you might have different time budgets and different practices but at the end of the day it's the still the same sort of thing and you're gonna find the same thing after you've been around if you uh, if you want to achieve these sorts of goals I think that you should do uh, as much quality living as you can possibly make if you're gonna catch up to the more experienced developers and the best way for you to do that is to s first and foremost you're gonna have to invest an enormous amount of time in your spare time you can count basically on that you're going to have to do quite a lot of self-study uh, and read like you're gonna have to consume articles at a uh, we're talking almost, I would say daily. You would have to daily, in a daily fashion, consume tutorials and blog articles and so forth and so forth for for quite some time. And then apart from that, you're going to have to do, as I said, quality living. And this is the one, I would say that's the one trump card that I can give you, which is one of the main differences between a software developer, the, like a senior software developer who is who has kind of leveled out versus a, so a senior software developer who can uh, who hasn't leveled out and that is that you need to get comfortable going from different to different companies and g having different sorts of perspectives and different sorts of roles what i mean by that isn't that i'm necessarily saying that you should job hop i'm saying that you should have the idea that once i have learned everything that i can learn at this specific company in this specific role I'm going to move on because the thing that uh, the reason why there is a return a, a loss of uh, in uh, the return on investment for a developer uh, after five years is usually because that is about the time or ten years in some cases that's around the range where they start getting lazy because now nothing's it's not scary to work anymore it's not all that stimulating you're kind of just doing the same sort of grind right and most developers will stay there and it's very similar to going to the gym. If you get to a certain strength level, if you set a goal and I'm gonna, you say that, oh, I'm gonna be able to do 100 push-ups, and then you get to 100, and then you just always do 100 push-ups, you're not gonna progress all that much more above 100 push-ups, but if you say that I'm gonna get as strong as I humanly can, and when I get to 100, I'm gonna do 200. That's the sort of mindset that you need in order to actually progress above the more experienced developers. And as I said, it's actually, if you have the strategy, and I would say that you will learn all that are, there is to learn at any given company. In the beginning, it might take a little bit longer, so that's why I'm telling you that it might be hard for you to jump too many times in, the, in five years, but maybe in six years or eight years. It, it's going to take you around two years roughly and the more experience you get the faster it goes to learn the role at the new company and once you've learned that role and you feel like yeah I kind of know how this goes and I kind of have the domain knowledge and nothing's really new to me you have to ask yourself is this a comfortable position that I am in because I mean you can continue evolving it's not impossible for you to just stay at the same company and still catch up to the more experienced developers but if you really want to maximize your chances of doing that in the shortest amount of time possible you need more perspectives just look at it as professional traveling because the the people who are the highest valued seniors in the industry are either people who are extraordinarily gifted experts in some specific area or the people who have seen the most, they know the most, they are the sort of people that you bring in because you need them to help you make the right decisions. And that is very, very hard to do if you've only ever worked in one company and it's really, really easy if you've been in many companies and you've seen the same sort of issues and you've seen different ways of solving those sorts of issues. So what I want you to take away from this is that if you absolutely want to start catching up to the more experienced developers you can it is a myth that just because you started working or you started programming when you were well a toddler that you no, know, you can't catch up to such a person like nobody it all it comes down to quality years and it takes around five quality years maybe a little bit more depending on situation for a um, developer to catch up to people who haven't been putting in the same quality and have been working for maybe twice or three times that amount of time because at the end of the day it doesn't really matter how long you work it matters what you do how 
much are you pushing yourself and you can absolutely get to you can catch up to the most ex more experienced developers in a fraction of the time of what they have been spending in the industry my hottest tip to you is apart from studying by yourself and really pushing it in your spare time is to try to do a little bit of traveling within the industry have a look at a few different companies don't just stay at one company for your entire career look around a little bit try to have the same job in a few companies or try to have a slightly different job in a few companies so that you can expand your perspective because that is going to give you an enormous trump card on most of the standard the the average developers have a great day